Oh, right at nine o'clock. <laughs> Let me just try to find it there. Yeah, we're we're live. I think. I'm I'm on your, your Facebook and I don't see it. It'll take but just a second. On your page. Right? Yeah, it should be on on my page. There we go. Just now. Yeah. Let me just try to find it. I don't see it. Okay. Yeah, it should be there. Hey, everybody. My window is squared away so I can actually see it. Okay. Hey, Mike. I am like that at all with the computer and all that it's hey jody there we go okay we're good people jody can you hear us okay there's a and there's like a 30 second lag between zoom and facebook so it's just weird so Hey Justin, hey Josh. My Facebook won't operate at all, so it won't what? My Facebook, my Facebook won't co cooperate at all. Oh, well, it's Facebook, so it's. Uh, I seen you for a second, and then everything blocked off, and it's like a no oh. load at all. What the heck? Hey Cassie. Hey Bob. Good morning. Thank you, Justin. Justin says they can see in here. Okay, well, what I'll do, oh, maybe it's coming down now. So I've got like my phone up next to me so I can see it on my phone. That's easier almost. Okay, so what I'll do, uh, I just shut Facebook off if, so, if somebody, uh, as comments for me, just let me know because uh doesn't want to cooperate at all. Okay. I'll moderate. Uh, I and moderate. Right on. So uh, <laughs> we've got eight people. Woo morning, uh, everybody. Good morning. I can't see your comments, so make sure Brittany gets them and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> so we're gonna tie a rusty rat today. All right. So what hook are you using today, Terry? The hook I'm using is a Mustad SL73, which was the old 36890. Okay. Number four. okay, so I'm using uh, Alec Jackson Spay Hook uh, size five. Okay. Um, yeah. that's good. So, I didn't go fancy, I could have used that too, but. Right, that's what I have. So that's what we got. We got an order in the other day of Spay Hooks. That was kind of cool. Right on. The trend I'm using is uh Justin says good morning. Temperfly 12 watt nano silk. Okay. So I'm using Semperfly 8 watt classic. Hi Jody, if you're there, I, I seen your message. I answered so Joshua, where is Monroe? I'd love to do bull trout fishing. You want to start with the, the tag, and it's going to be uh, I, I'm using Uni French uh, Twist Gold. Okay. It only comes in medium and gold and silver, so that, I really like using that when uh, the size of the fly is good for it. Okay. Oh. We'll start that up towards the front and tie it down all the way back, right? I, I usually this piece because the the body is like two parts. I usually start about the middle of the fly. Okay. And I, well, in my case with this, I go just before the the barb, in line with the barb, but just a bit forward of it. And I make a couple half hitches. Make it. 
Just going to see on my phone if my Facebook will work better so I can share it. Yeah, go ahead. Seconds there, just so. Uh, right. There. No, that's you and Ben <laughs> from yesterday. That's not uh, the right one. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, it's Cindy. There you are. Okay, I feel like I'm tying in the dark because if I have more lights on, everything gets washed out. So I feel like I'm literally tying in the dark. There, I just shared it. So, <laughs> so it worked, it came up, yeah. Yeah. Is your tin cell silver or gold? It's gold. Okay. It just looks silver. It is gold, though. Okay. I'm going to try to turn another light on real quick. Didn't have to leave because of that. I don't want to piss you off. <laughs> right? So, oh, then I cut, my, I cut the, the tip of my uh, oval tinsel about halfway there, so it just bulks up my uh, the body of my fly a bit. Okay. Next thing I'm going to be using is a peacock sword. Okay. This one has been beaten up a little bit, but. Take about around four fibers. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I keep them long enough that they're going to build up my body after. Okay. So. I try to put them sideways like that behind the hook. Kind of lift them up on top, make two, three, not too tight turns, and then place them good. So are you getting in on the March Madness this year for Norvice? Yeah, I registered uh, two days ago. As soon as it came in there. Take long. I, I wasn't gonna, I thought I wasn't gonna do it. And as soon as Tim started talking about it on the Zoom yeah. session, <laughs> right. last week, it got me hooked again there. I, couldn't <laughs> ask. I don't know, it's like unfinished business for me. <laughs> right, I bet. Because last year you made it what to the final round? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jody no. says, do I own anything that doesn't say Norvice? Sure, I own a lot of stuff that doesn't say Norvice, but I'm tying and tagging them, so I'm going to wear it. And it's Sunday, so it's a comfy sweatshirt. He does. His, na his name is Brian. Oh, right. <laughs> um, yeah, there's that. Um, and then Justin wants to know if you sell the material in your shop to tie this fly. If I do, yeah, I do. What, what's your shop called again? My shop is a North Shore Fly Shop. I think I tagged it. So I shop the North sure. Shore. So head over to Terry's shop page. Give it a look. Okay. Now there's different ways to do this part here, uh, Britt. Mm -hmm. It's for the veil. So I'm just, okay. I'm looking at something real quick. I cut my tinsel off or my rib off. I got right back in. Just a second. That's all right. <laughs> I, I cut I cut mine too and I redid it for the rib. So I do on that particular fly, I do that to build up the body a little bit. Okay. So I didn't mess up. Good deal. Nah. Just a minute. By the way, the the floss we're using is a uni floss, rusty orange. Okay, so this is my question. Rusty I have, so I have orange, yeah. and then I have like a light orange. Yeah, whatever. They they both make nice flies anyway. I'll go with this one, I guess. None of them. They're all so old. They don't have. 
colored labels on them. So. Yeah, it's uh, I cut a piece off about about three inches. And uh, what happens on this, we're going to floss the back of the body about two thirds, and then we're going to use peacock earl for the final third. But about, at about three quarters of the first two thirds, so while it's about halfway on the fly, mm -hmm. I'm going to iron the floss. I do just like two turns there, and then I flip, flip it over like that and tie it there. I don't want it too bulky either. I just want a little bit. Then I'm gonna cut it just a little shorter than the tail. Okay, hold on. So is that gonna be like the underwing part of it? Yeah, the, the, okay. the veil. The veil, okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. I was confused for us. Every time I say the word veil, I think of Alan Jackson's song. Right. He says, I raise her veil. She looks at me without her left front tooth. What are we doing now? I tied my floss. My other floss, just regular, like uh, as if I'd be doing the body, same thing. What so, I'll do here for a second, I'll uh, just crush my the veil there, there so it uh, holds it. Sometimes I put the veil, I make the veil as I wrap the, the floss. And uh, sometimes I do it like this. I find it makes it less bulky this way here. I'll leave it go. I've never used floss a whole lot before. So all of these patterns that you and um, ben and Justin are teaching me here. Kind of I go cool. about an eighth of an inch in front of the veil. Then I'll come back. You can do it whichever way you prefer. I fix my flaws a little bit. Then I make it wrap over the veil just a little bit to push it down. Then I'll go back behind it. There are a lot of comments, Brittany? Um, just a few, not too many so far. Uh, let me look and see where we're at. I need two monitors out here so I can have something up on one and this on the other. Oh, I've got 17 people. Okay. Pretty good. Hi guys, for some reason I can't run my Facebook so I don't see your comments. <laughs> so hi to everyone, hope you're all doing good. We're tying the rusty rat if anybody wasn't here to, uh, to hear the first parts of it so okay. the phone didn't ring once all day and now it's yeah. ringing and I'm live yeah. do you need to go grab it okay. nope. somebody I got two kids here so Perfect. Okay, so I can tie the floss off now. Yeah. Okay. Cassie says, love this fly. Cassie Ross. Hey, hey Cassie.
Then I take about five strands of uh, peacock earl, cut the bad ends off. Are you gonna make a rope out of it? Please say I, yes. I just can't do it good. I'll try it just for fun. I will do it. Don't Every worry. time I'll I try it. it, I don't know how Tim does it so easily. <laughs> I right. just I just can't, but I'm going to try again. Right. So tie that in. Let's see. I literally got Justin doing it the other day on a video finally. He was doing a video, so I ran home at lunch and made a video of how to do it for him. So maybe I need to send it to you too. Well, it's not it doesn't seem too bad right now this time. So the peacock curl will go right up to the veil. No, nope, yeah. no, I leave that little yeah. neat inch or so uh, be in front of it. Uh, okay, gotcha. Some uh, some actually make it with two veils. Oh wow! Okay. The one there is, and then another one where the peacock curl starts. So, but most of the yeah. time it's it's tied something like this there. So. Mm -hmm. Andrew says hi. Hi, Andrew. Which Andrew is that? Andrew Baju Bujola. Ah, yeah, he's, he's, a little, he's a little <laughs> right. guy here. Yeah, he was on the Zoom the other night. Yeah. Came into the shop a few times. Yeah. Just, uh, mm -hmm. I'll wait for you a second. Okay. And I flip the thread and just hold it. I make the thread hold it there for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. and I, I go with the, the ribbing. I try not, not to crush the veil when I go on it, try to avoid it completely behind it and then in front so of it. Are you um, counter wrapping it or just doesn't it matter? Nope. Hmm. Counter wrapping and me don't go together. Okay, that's fair. I, for some reason, I see guys doing the, the, the little nymphs and all that, and they counter wrap the copper wire and stuff like that, and I, it doesn't go go good with me usually. <laughs> so the I rib is going to go clear up like into that. the peacock, right? Okay. Yeah, you go straight through the peacock up to the head. So how do you like your purple legacy? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Although last night I put my tube fly attachment in because I'm going to be doing a tube fly program for the FFI Women's Connect next week. And okay. the hub on it is brass. And I about died because it looked terrible. <laughs> so I had to text him and be like, this isn't okay. I know. And he said, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So he's coming out with a stainless hub for the uh, tube fly attachment. So it's not just the tube fly. I just thought about that too. Because I ordered the orange one and uh, just realized that my small jaws and my large jaws and all that are all going to be brass. <laughs> all right, we're at the wings now. Okay. I'm using gray fox. Okay. So I've got, I don't have gray fox, so I have squirrel tail. So a lot of flies are being replaced either gray fox to squirrel or squirrel to gray fox. Doesn't really matter. It's uh, they just don't work the same. I find mm -hmm. I like the fox a little bit better because uh, I don't. There's less tendency for the the hair to 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 slip on your fly. True. Yeah, the squirrel is pretty. Um, yeah, you just got to slippery. Either way, I always do a little dab of head cement when I do them. 
I go with my wings about the same length as I go the, the tail. So you uh, just put a dab of head cement where you're tying it in at? Uh, well, I'm tying it first, then I'm putting it in, but it's oh, okay. all, it doesn't matter. It's all good. I make about two, three turns, then I do it like this because it's a uh, small hair, so I can leave it there. If it would be a bit coarser hair, I might cut it flush before and tie it in after. So, so I'm trying to see. So I'm cutting how far it. how far back do you have it going? About equal to the the tail. Okay. Just past the veil. I like to put a little right here on top. It won't show there anyway, so makes it a little bit more solid. That's what about I like about the Semperfly uh, Nano Silk Twelve Watt. Pretty strong. Like if, if you see here, how strong it is. It's twelve watt, right. and it's yeah, so it's, thin it's that you can like, make more wraps and put it tighter on the wing. So I really hate lighting in this room. There we go. Maybe that's better. I don't. Maybe not. Are you, uh, you doing good with your wings, yeah? Yep. And then I'm using uh, N Grizzly Hackle. This one's whiting uh, wet fly hackle. Okay. I take out the marabou type strands there. So I'm just saying it is awesome being able to do this with you guys. Yes, yeah, kind of I was telling Justin earlier today how, how it's kind of neat. It's uh, really made me step out of my comfort zone, like on flies that I wouldn't have thought to tie before. Same as uh same as Ben was doing yesterday, I do it the same way as he does. Yeah. And just fold them backwards like this. Then I start rolling it. I don't know if you see it good on the camera. Uh, yep. Hey, Rick, how's it going in Montana? Just push it like that. I, I put every turn one against the other. And uh, there's a few uh, fibers that won't cooperate right there, but there. The few uh, that stick up, but that's not a problem. I gotta go back in place after when I push them out. Okay. And I just break, I put a few turns and I just break the end of the stem of the ackle. Push them backwards like this. So how do you fish this fly? Just on the swing or? Uh, no, uh, I just uh, got a spin not long ago and I didn't really practice with it yet. I'm, I'm using a one-hander nine foot or 10 foot rod usually. Yeah. Just cast it across the, the current and leave it go down and go a foot or two more and just go across the pool. Then when I'm done reaching as far as I could cast, I just step down a couple of feet then do the whole thing again. Go like yeah. that through the pool. Normally that's how we do it. But mm -hmm. I'll Always, uh, I'll try it like that, and I'll, then I'll I like leaving it go down the current, on, like past my seeing my backing on my line, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. down the pool and bring it back up and just play with it up and down, go down two feet, go up a foot, go back and forth like that. I like to try it like that. And I had a couple of fish like that too. So nice. it's, uh, I try to try a few different techniques when I'm fishing, just in case I would piss off a salmon. Right. <laughs> Telling you if you come in the Maritimes and get one hooked on, you'll want that again for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we will be coming to the Maritimes. So is that whole area kind of called the Maritimes or? Yeah. Well, Maritimes is Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and PEI. The Atlantic province are the same, but they include Newfoundland. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so... Rick wants to know what the wing material is. So I'm using gray squirrel and Terry is using gray fox. Yeah. And the so other side. proper material. I just don't have any the gray The side of it is the veil. It's just a double piece of floss that was on it that we put on there, so. Hey, Randy, glad you made it. Better late than never. For the head, I'm using uh, red number four, Flora Bright from Semperfly. Oh, shoot, I didn't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, some people like more like the Chinese red and all depends what you prefer. I'm just gonna use the red thread. Uh, you, some, I seen some using the Vineyard at Celia Red Cement, which is the same Red Cement I'm using, but they, they got it in red. Oh, okay. Put that on there too, so works pretty good. Okay. Makes a nice shiny head too. That looks better. All right. Looking good. Yeah, not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'll have to tie another one after this. And I can actually like pay attention to what I'm doing. Not try to look at comments and yeah. whatnot. <laughs> hey, Saker, how's it going? So Saker's on. He's the one that kind of started me out fishing. He was my mentor, gosh, eight years ago for our women's clinic. I blame him for some of this. Yeah, that's a good problem. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> right no. be Little did that. we know. <laughs> Little did we know. Yeah, I could think of a lot worse problems to have. But there's no problem with that fly. The, the salmon's going to like it. <laughs> I wonder if a steelhead here would take it. Hey, Judd. Happy Sunday. What kind of, uh, what did you put on the head? Uh, just some solarized bone dry. Bone dry, okay. Yeah. I just didn't get to use it yet. I didn't try. I, I used a lot of UV, but not the, not the bone dry yet. So. Yeah, I, I, we just got it a few weeks ago when we picked materials for our class and I'm liking it so far it's it's the consistency of a head cement as opposed to the, the thicker uv resins so it's nice just to for heads yeah so that's a rusty rat okay awesome. not too bad we get better but we'll work on it so you want to do just one or you want to do a second one? Or? Um, it's up to you. Do you want to keep going? It's only been, gosh, that was quick, a half hour. Yeah. We apparently don't talk as much as other people. <laughs> we can do another one if you want. Hey, Dad. Yeah, okay. yeah that way Randy can watch because he came in late. Okay, let's try another one. Grab a hook. So again, the hook I'm using is a uh, SL73 must add 36890. Number four. 
<laughs> Justin says, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't recreate the accent that goes with that though, sorry. Let me get the little camera back in. Zing. Go. You oval uni uh, twist French tinsel uni French. I mean, for the tag and the ribs. Just before the ta the the barb of the hook. So in the shop there, you're carrying Norvice products now, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. Awesome. I got so are you probably one of the few Canadian places that have Norvice? There's a couple of places that have them. Oh, but uh. I got a couple stuff in stock. I got a regular uh, vice and I have uh, a bobbin kit with the hub and uh, a couple spools and I got the 10 spools uh, kit and I got the waste basket. Gotcha. So if you're in Canada and need some Norvice stuff, you know where to go. And I got more stuff coming in there. So. Good deal. Just made an order this week with Tim. And I got a promotion coming up soon. Ooh. So you do cut your tinsel off at this point or no? Or do you just I, I heard it? With the tag and I didn't cut it. I brought it right here okay. the, to build up the body a little thicker. Okay. Yeah. And when I do my uh my peacock sword, I keep mm -hmm. it long as well for that. So So everybody that's watching, where are you from? That's part of my favorite thing on here is seeing where everybody is watching from. I, mean, I know a few of you because you're my family, but so drop your location in the comments. Jody, if you're watching I'm going to answer your question right after this <laughs> Randy from Indiana Vermont got a lot of East Coast people on this time I'm going to do the getaway okay. Montana Den oh we have someone from Denmark holy cow that's so cool. That's nice. Right, Marietta. If anybody's wondering where I'm tying from, I'm in uh, Balmoral, New Brunswick, nor Northern New Brunswick in Canada. So Terry's there and I'm in Lewiston, Idaho. We're a few miles away. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> I, I mapped it out the other day because I thought, oh, that'd be a heck of a road trip, but that'd be a really long road trip. It would be worth it, but that'd be a very long road trip, and then I would have to go right by my parents' house almost, but it would actually work out good. But. Um, so Rick is saying, what is the body material? What I'm using now is a uh, Unifloss Rusty Orange. So this time you didn't tie the veil in yet? No, I'm, I'm no. putting it now as we are speaking right now. That's what I'm doing. I just wanted to show the two different ways to do it. 
that I do it. Okay, let me catch up. <laughs> Gotta wait a minute then. Oh man, my clock's a like bit and wait. exploding. Hey Tim, how's it going? Tim Hepworth, not Tim O'Neill. I haven't seen Tim O'Neill jump on yet. Yeah, I don't think I'll be taking the camper all the way to the Maritimes. No, well, there's lots of <laughs> yeah. That'd be a really long drive with the camper. It'd be worth it. I, it just means I'd have to stay for a while. So. Well, if you go around meeting everybody, like you're saying, you laugh. Right, at no, no crowd. I end up having to stay for two. If you go meet Justin at one end of uh, Nova Scotia and you go meet Ben at the other end, <laughs> right. you come up to Northern New Brunswick. Right. We have, yeah, we have to add John uh, Scott in the mix too. Yeah, well, he's right in the middle of the trip coming up to New Brunswick. So oh, perfect. <laughs> Even better. Passing by his place. <laughs> perfect. Oh my gosh. Hold on. That looks crappy. Oh, my floss started like splaying out. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So now what I did is coming back on itself here, locking the veil there, but I'm, I find it makes it a little bit more bulky when you do that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this floss is just crazy. I, I just loop it like that and just go back on it. So like that, yeah, holy Christ. Look at all the good fishing spots you'd go by, no doubt, Randy, no kidding. You need a Prevost RV coach, travel in style. I like my outdoors RV. Four seasons, I can camp in the winter if I wanted to. There, I have to <laughs> spool the floss after. Went on the floor. Right. Oh, and then oh, I gotta stop in Vermont now too and, and visit with Jody. Might as well hit Delaware while I'm, you know, on that coast. There we go. Thank you, Rick. Wetting your fingers does help. There we go. That looks better. Peacock Earl. So if I'm going to make a trip over there, maybe we need to start a GoFundMe so I can afford to do it. <laughs> anyway, if the time is good, then we get to get the whole gang together. We got to do something. Right, that would be awesome. Some Norvice thing or whatever when we're at it. Okay. Maybe someday the border will open up. Oh yeah, it will eventually. Right. So I don't even think you can get in right now if you want in. No, unless it's uh like only like and stuff. Right, yeah. This is how I usually do my peacock also. 
<laughs> my mom says if I go to the East Coast, I better stop by their house in Michigan. It's right on the way, seriously. I, I mapped it to go to Nova Scotia and that area. I have to go right through Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. So just drop down for an hour and visit them. So I'm going to put two pieces, two clumps of peacock curl in because the first one wasn't enough. Is Tim still on? Just curious how many uh, subscription you got to the contest up till now. Oh, it was Tim Tim Hepworth from oh, Okay, I thought it was Timonio. Alberta, no, not Timonio. Nope. Okay. I haven't seen him pop in yet. So. Wasn't he there yesterday for Ben? Yeah, yeah, he, he was here for Ben's. I don't know where he's at for yours. Okay. <laughs> you have it. No, I thought you meant you didn't see him pop in on your uh, on your live sessions yet. Yeah, I haven't. So he's probably, you know, out fishing or something. Jody says, that's what husbands are for. What are husbands for, Jody? I don't know what comment you're referring to. So now I can take the rib up, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm not really waiting for you, I guess. <laughs> no, yeah, that's fine. Oh, paying for trips. Ah, I'll let you and Brian discuss that one. Okay, so now we're just going to take the rib up. This is just such a cool looking pattern. Now, are there a lot of variations of this? Yeah, they, there's the blue rat, the orange rat, the green rat. Then it's not the exact same model, but there's the whole rat bunch there, the silver rat, the gold rat. The, oh, wow, so a ton of them. They're all similar with the, for the wing and the collar, most of them. Mm. A few things vary, like a uh, silver rat has a silver body with uh, gold ribbing, and the tail is a golden pheasant uh, crest. Sure. Yeah, I don't like the rib on that. I'm going to redo it. Is the wing, is it the wing that makes it unique? Randy wants to know. The veil, the, yeah. The, the, yeah. the, the rusty, uh, rusty orange uh, floss is uh, pretty much a feature of the rusty rat. Mm -hmm. We've seen it over other, on other flies over the years too. Some, uh, some put it on other flies. And when they tie the blue rat, the orange rat, it's in there too. It's just variations from the rusty wrap. Rusty rat is a local fly that, that came from here. Is it? Which is uh, similar to the rat versions of, I think it's Roy Hay Thompson or, anyway, R-A-T is, I know it's R A Thompson, but uh, oh, okay. So that stands for something. That's, yeah, that's for the. Inventor. I wondered where that comes from. Yeah, the rat flies, but okay. uh, the rusty rat is a variation that came from here. On the Restigosh and Matapedia region. The what region? The Restigosh region, like the Restigosh River here. I've heard of that. I just don't know what it is. I've heard of it, but 
We had a bunch of U.S. president fish on them, so fish on mm -hmm. it. A lot of celebrities too. Gotcha. If you look on the map, there's the Bay of Chaleur right on at north of the province, and that goes straight into the 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 Restigouche River flows right in it as the main river at, on the north of New Brunswick. The world famous salmon river. So when you say salmon, you mean Atlantic salmon, right? Atlantic salmon, yes. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any questions on the li uh, on the comments? And for those, those there at the beginning, I didn't see your comments, so I'm relying on Brittany to. Yeah, I'm to trying to mo to questions. moderate and pay attention to what I'm doing, which I'm not very good at doing both. So. Randy says, "Thank you for the explanation." This is a, another rusty rat. I'm almost there. I'm much slower at them than you. Are you recording? Uh, what? Am I is what? Recording these videos? Um, so they're on the Facebook. Okay. But then I went in because all of the chaos and drama on Facebook lately. <laughs> uh, and I, I'm downloading them just so that way if, you know, Facebook ever tanks. Then that we still have them somewhere. Okay. So kind of like Tim does with the um, lives, they record them or they're on there. They download them and then add them to the face or to the YouTube page. Okay. So I was thinking of doing that maybe, just in case Facebook is ever not a thing. But we'll see. I mean, hopefully that doesn't happen, but then if it does, then we've got them. And I thought maybe on a YouTube page, it might be easier if someone did want to go back and watch them. Okay. Did a good job. The head on this one is way big, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm going to cover it in red now, so it's even harder. Yeah, make a bigger redhead. Right? We'll just make it look like we're meant to do it. I've noticed a lot of the flies back there have bigger heads on them. I don't know. Depends on who flies it. Some people yeah, have right? big heads. Some people try to get the smaller head as they right. can. It's, it all depends there. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel said, um, ah, nice tying, guys. Randy Thank says, you. very nice. Thank you for entertaining us. I'm glad you find it entertaining. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm waiting. Probably be, it'd probably be much more entertaining if we weren't live on Facebook. <laughs> just uh, while I'm waiting, I'm just looking on my phone there to. And I'm gonna comment too. <laughs> Let me put a code of head some Andrew says, can't wait to get back home to try some. So he must live close to you then, right? Andrew, yeah. Andrew, yeah. He's from Campbellton, which is 25 minutes away from me. But I think he's in Bathurst now. So 
studies or whatever. So, which is 40 min minutes, uh, 45 minutes away the other side. I think we got Daniel watching now and you're using dry yeah. and I'm trying to coax me to use it, so. <laughs> trying to get him to use what? Daniel is trying to get me to use bone dry. Oh, right, yeah, it's good. And, uh, I didn't use it yet, but he's been using it for a while, so. Yeah, I like it, it's it's a nice. Um, oh, Jody wants to know what the gadget is on the bobbin. Um, so this, uh, let me change the camera, hold on. So this right here is just a thread keeper. So you can, I mean, you can store your thread on the post or put a cap on it to keep it, the clutch from sucking it in, or you can just you can grab the red one. It might be easier to see. Do you like tying the thing on your uh, bobbin? Or, uh, I was thinking it might be in the way a bit. I didn't know if it was. Like, I don't know. I don't notice it. So. Okay. The thread just wraps around that little, it's just a, like a little screw with a washer, like a rubber washer. And then it just holds it there. Um, Mike Johnson over in the UK makes them. Do you have so to have send in your, uh, your bobbin to get it on or? What? How is it attached to the bobbin? Um, just with super glue. So okay, you just, the... oh, hold on. So you just, um, he sends them to you and they're just loose. And then you just put like, a few drops of super glue in the corners. Okay. And I was kind of skeptical. I didn't think it would hold, but it has. And I mean, I don't even really notice it. So. Okay. Get used to it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, it's weird not having it on there now. Sometimes I'll use one of Brian's or I have I think one that doesn't have it. And it's just kind of weird now not having it. But thank you, Marietta. Jody, I'll go back and tag Mike in this afterwards. His name is Mike Johnson, which you search that. There's going to be a million Mike Johnsons. But um, if you go to the tires page, the Norvice tires page, um, he's in there. So that would narrow it down. Is this Tim approved? Um, is what Tim approved, Rick? <laughs> our, our live tying? Yes, that's Tim approved. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I guess I don't see it, so. What? I don't really see all the comments. Right, I see some of them. I don't know. Sometimes I think I don't see all of them, but all right. So anybody have any questions for Terry on how to tie the rusty rat or about his shop or about Canada or about life in general? Oh, so Andrew says he's stuck there in St. Arthur. Can't go home to Bathurst with the storm. That's a snowstorm. Uh, 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 yeah, and St. Arthur is, just so you know what it means, it's the St. Arthur area is the highest point where people live in the old maritimes. Oh, okay. So when there's wind, there's more wind. When there's storms, there's more storm, more snow. So. Yeah. Uh, it's all hills. So gotcha. 25 minutes away from here, but it's all hills. <laughs> okay. And he's uh, from Campbellton, which is flat, but he had to get a girlfriend in St. Arthur. So it's uh, <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> Long distance <laughs> relationships, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Daniel says, like I told Terry, it's fun to see flies we are able to use down here, and it don't last one hour to do one. Uh, this is just the right length for video and not boring. Well, I'm glad we're not boring. Someone on the fly tying group the other day thought we were. So, oh, yeah. yeah. There's always haters. Well, yeah, yeah, but if. <laughs> but as long as people great. are getting something out of it, we can keep doing yeah. them. So. If you like it, you stay. And if you don't, you don't. <laughs> you right. Just, you don't comment. You don't bother with that. Yeah. That's how I see it. Uh, Randy wants to know how long you've worn glasses. Last video you watched, you weren't wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> I turned 40 years old two years ago and it went so down. He has glasses now. Six months ago, I was top notch. Last year in the Norway March Madness, 
I wasn't wearing glasses to tie flies, rarely anyway. And I think I burnt out my eye socket. And when this summer I got some glasses, and, well, not this summer, just actually in November, I got my glasses. And I have a hard time getting used to them, but I have to wear them more often. Now I, if I, if I start tying without glasses, I'll, I'll be crying all the time. Oh, hey, Graham from Scotland is on. That's cool. We have two people from the UK. Hey, Graham. Or somewhere over that way. Yeah, it's nice. So Scotland and oh, where was the other one? I forget now. Marietta. Anyways, so that's cool. Oh, and Kahit Sari is on. And I probably butchered that. He lives in Turkey. So I finally that. asked because I didn't know. So I asked. So kind of cool. Um, I guess we have some people from Austria and Australia and uh, uh, UK and all that for the March Madness. So Right. So, yeah, that's going to be neat having, I think, more people from overseas this year. I don't know how many we had last year. If last any, year, I don't know I, if we had last any. Last year was all, all U.S. except two Canadians, if I'm not mistaken. Was it only two Canadians last year? I God, so. y'all have, like, infiltrated it this year. <laughs> yeah. I try to coax a few of my friends to try to keep it in Canada. Right? Yeah. I mean, the more of you, the more likely you'll keep it. But I don't know. It'd be kind of neat to see someone overseas get it this year. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Stevie Dallas is in there. I'm a little scared of that. Of them, but Stevie <laughs> Dallas ties one wicked nymph there. I know. I hope I'm not up against him for a nymph. Um, yeah. I'll just bow out at that point because, yeah. There's no point. Uh, no, you you got to try. No matter what, you got to try. I know. Right? It'll be good. It'll that, be awesome that, this year. When just... you try, that's where you, you pass what, you're, uh, what you think you're capable of. I never thought I'd take two, three hours on the fly. And I ended up taking 15 hours and 12 hours and stuff like that right. the tournament. And now I know that I can do it. So it's... Uh, I don't want to do it that long again, but anyway, you never know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, ter uh, sorry, I'm scrolling back up. Jody wants to know what the website for your shop is. It's uh, NorthShoreFlyShop.ca. It's uh, I don't have everything on it yet. It's uh, I got maybe one one fifth of the stuff I have in stock on the website. So if there's anything else you need, you uh, you can always message me, email me, whatever. Uh, we're doing that part time. Me and my wife are working during the daytime, and uh, when we're off at night, we usually run it during the evening and Saturdays. So, but it's uh, NorthShoreFlyShop.ca. It's uh, N O R H S H O R E F L Y S H O P dot C A. Or .com. Or go to his Facebook page. There's probably a link there for it. Yeah, I do. Right, yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, we make a good team. That's sweet. <laughs> At least I can understand him. I'm trying to convince Stevie Dallas to do one of these, but I'm afraid I'll get on here and I won't understand anything he says. So. <laughs> <laughs> as long as everybody else does. Right, yeah, I guess. Um, let's see, Bob says, nice job. Don't forget to plug your businesses. So we have a business now and I'm terrible at remembering to tell people about it. So we have a new business, Hackles and Hurl Fly Fishing. Um, right now we're just teaching classes to local people, fly tying and fly fishing and doing custom orders. So, you know, middle of pandemic, open a business, why not? Well, that's, uh, that's how you gave me the idea that I have an excuse to order the orange vice. Right, yeah. If I want to teach them on Norvice, I'll have two Norvices then. So then I, I just needed an excuse. So. <laughs> yeah, see, I'll show you. We have the whole classroom set up. When we, like, so our garage is our tying room. And we just we have to like, take a bunch of stuff out. But now we've got a huge table that we have, you know. We've got Norvices coming out the out the keister on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's now much more cramped than it used to be. So you can't walk straight through it anymore. But that's good though. We've got classes going. We have one tonight and we've got a couple this week. So. That's all right. Well, since you showed your, your shop, I'm gonna show mine too. Yeah, let's see the shop, because that's your shop shop, right? That's my shop shop, yeah. 
I'll show you mine if you show me yours, right? Yeah. Then first you talked about mm -hmm. it, now you talk like that again. The so, what? The other day you talked about a three way by mistake. <laughs> now you, I'll show you yours, I'll show you mine. Right. So this is uh nice. part of the shop there. I, I don't know if I'm doing it too fast or not, but no, you can see it. Yeah. So that's all materials you have for sale, right? A few tying kits, a uh, few books, and a few other things that we have there, a little bit of hunting and fishing. And Very cool. Do you have any logo gear with your shop name on it? Uh, they're not made yet because I'm trying to, uh, my logo is getting done right away, right now. So. Nice. When you do, I uh, want to get a shirt or something or hat. Okay, yeah, we're we're actually working on that now. I screwed up my camera there. Trying to. No, there's uh we're working on the logo right now. There I just got the first sample uh, two days ago and I asked for a little modifications and and we're uh, we're waiting for it to get back and see what it's at and but he the guy that's making it was about three steps ahead of me. So I thought I would have to modify a few times and he was right. hanging on right away. So it's uh, what happened, my daughter made a, uh, a logo drawing and I wanted it to be based around that, what she, uh, what she uh, drawn. Right. And so that's he what he went that. with and he did a pretty good job. Cool, awesome. That's really cool. Maybe before long, we'll have some stickers and. Right, I have stickers in the mail for ours because stickers are a serious deal. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, uh, everybody wants stickers now. I know, right? <laughs> Myself included. So. Uh, I want to put the logos on the truck and everything, and make a bit of publicity with it too. So. Yeah. Well, it's all fun. So. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been about an hour, so let's sign out. Um, right on. Thanks, everyone, for thank watching. Thank you, everybody, for, for watching. Me, uh, for asking me to join. Yeah, thank you. Pleasure, and let's do that again sometime. Yeah, we'll do. We'll see you, Terry. All right. Thank you. Yep. Here, don't get out of Zoom. Just a second. Let me just quit live.